About new efforts to keep a rare variant of raccoon rabies from spreading. The Douglas County Health Department will be working with the USDA this week to distribute vaccine packets, which wildlife will smell and then eat. The efforts will be focused in the area you see here on your screen. It's a 62 square mile area from Interstate 680 east to the Missouri River and south to the Douglas Sarpy County line. Now, following today's raccoon rabies update, it seems there might be a concern at a local business known for catering to animals as well as the customers. There isn't. Our Marlo Lundak tells us why. The Alpine Inn just north of the metro area isn't just known for their fried chicken. They're also known for their love of wildlife, more specifically raccoons. You'll see possums, you'll see skunks, squirrels, birds, raccoons. Every day in the Ponca Hills area, animals feast on pounds of top-notch table scraps. We have trays where we dump out all the stuff. These are repurposed scraps from all the families that have decided to leave things behind. They eat everything except for a tiny little sliver of a bone every day, which are cleaned up nightly. More often than not, you'll see a raccoon, or five of them, staying well-fed. That's where we dump a lot of the big bones. And well hydrated. This is a fresh water source that is cleaned daily. When the news of the rare strain of raccoon rabies in the metro was announced earlier this month, it just came as a big surprise. Surprised, but not overly uneasy. First, the restaurant is just outside of the radius of concern, where the vaccine packets are now being placed. Of course we were worried, but on the other hand, we hadn't seen any signs, and as of right now, we still haven't seen anything, so we're really grateful for that. Secondly, for as often as they observe the animals, they say they would know if something is wrong. We pay close attention to all of these animals on a daily basis, all day long, all night long. The restaurant says they're thankful local, state and federal agencies are taking steps to protect local wild animals like their beloved raccoons. We love animals and we think that every animal matters. So that being said, anything we can do to be proactive to keep them all safe, we, we're here for you. On your side in Ponca Hills, Marlo Lundak, 6 News. And the health department says through traps, they have vaccinated more than 500 raccoons, two dozen skunks, several cats and a red fox as well. So here's what you should do if you come across one of those oral rabies vaccine packets. Health Department is asking you to leave the packets alone. They are safe to touch if they are undamaged. The Health Department says if you do pick up a packet, do so with a rubber glove or paper towel and then immediately wash your hands. If your pet eats one, it likely won't harm the pet, although eating several could cause an upset stomach. And if you have a reaction to a packet, there is a number on the back that you